Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Chair Room here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Uh, today, we have a pretty fun and unusual deck, for sure. Uh, we kind of uh, hated this mechanic during the set review, but we'll give it a chance, you know? Yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and the link will be down for, below for that. And uh, we'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, today, we are going to play Forgotten Masterpiece. It's basically all the Argent cards that have the good old, what is it, animate uh, tagline, cue card, whatever it is, uh, status effect that you need. And we'll see how it goes when it takes up all your shards. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. But first, we also need a champion to do so. And today we're going to uh, do Argon, the Tragic Gargoyle. He's a classic dude, but uh, with him, you can exhaust send the top two cards of your deck in the discard zone. We're actually not gonna do that part, but the second one's pretty powerful. Exhaust, pay one, put target unit from your discard zone on back on top of your deck. So if you need something that's gonna help you out with the animate, you just put it back on top and hopefully get it, uh, get your ball rolling for sure. And now we're gonna play also with the spirit of Ursatovas, the strongest spirit of all made ever. And it's amazing. It's pretty good. Yeah, so Angry Bear, Exhaust pay two, uh, target unit gets plus 1,000 this turn, and if it costs four or greater, it has Destroyer. Why not? Yeah. And then you can Soul Burst, all your units you control get plus 1,000 this turn. Probably won't be using that, but still strong. But yeah, just being able to be like, pay two, this dude has Destroyer, it's really, really strong. Yeah, and it's really big. Yeah. All right, so the first guy we got is the Shardwork Hound. It is a one drop 1,500 with target attack. It is has Animate 1, which for those that don't know Animate, you must pay one to attack or block with this card. Yep. And animate can change to like two or whatever, but it's just, I don't know. In, for me personally, anything you have to pay to attack or block is kind of rough. Yes. So it could be, we're, we're not sure where they're, where they're gonna sit. We'll yeah, have to yeah. find out. We'll see how we go and how flowy it goes. But next one is Shardwork Dragon. It's a two drop 2000. It has quickness, which is pretty good, but in order to swing, you have to have animate one. So it's basically a three drop instead. So I mean, they are they are really powerful one and two drops. So yeah. I can't really fault them on that. Like we already have fifteen hundred and two thousand, yeah. which will destroy all towers. So. Uh, next is the Hoken Adventurer. He is a two drop one thousand with arrive. You may search your deck for a location augment and add it to your hand. Then draw a card for each location you have in play. Yep. We have a couple. We'll get to them in a little bit. But this dude's just there to help you get them. Yep. That's his only real purpose. Now we have Shardwork Angel. It's a three drop twenty five hundred. We're really powerful. It's unblockable. Animate one. I am appreciated that this one I feel like is the most balanced because it costs more, it's unblockable. Well, maybe not the most balanced, but it's not animate two or three. It's just animate one still. Mm -hmm. Next up is the Knight Rider Eok. He is a three drop 2000 and he has an additional cost to play this card. You may sacrifice a unit. Arrive, if the, if you paid the cost, target unit gets minus X this turn where X is the power of the sacrifice unit. So this guy's really cool because you don't have to sack the dude if you don't want to. Yeah. But you might as well because that's a free kill spell yeah and otherwise it's just a three drop 2000 and your one and two drops can probably almost kill everything <clears throat> you need to kill so it's pretty good shardwork knight it's at 3000 for a four drop it has brawler and guardian and it has animate two so that's really rough with the animate on that yeah. one for sure shardwork titan it is a five drop 3500 with destroyer and guardian and animate two so it can block a lot of things but it can also kill towers, but you have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, this one, of course, Battle Angel of, of Dominion. It's a 5-drop 2500, and arrive, you may reveal it. Argent unit from your hand if you do destroy a target unit, which you will, because that's all pretty much what you have. This is one of the best Argent cards ever printed. Yes, it really is. I mean, for a dude to come in that's big and kill a dude at the same time, merc it, <laughs> yeah, done. And if she doesn't care what it is, just, yeah, that, dude's just dead. that dude is gone. Uh, last big dude we have is the Shardwork Arbiter. He is a 6 drop 5,000. As an additional cost to play this card, you may exhaust any number of units you control. If you do, this card costs one less to play for each, yep. so he helps pay for himself. And he's got Destroyer, Guardian, Overrun, Quickness, Target Attack, and Animate 2. Yeah. So you still have to pay to attack, but he gets to kill all the towers and do it on the turn he comes in and tramples over. Yeah, and the fact that he costs less, so you can tap all your other dudes, and you can still pay two to do all of that. Yeah. So that's the, he's probably, of course, the best one of all. Yeah, he's real strong. Yeah, he he pretty good. All right, and our, our spell here of Shardwork Heart. It's a zero drop augment gear. Equipped uh, to target Shardwork unit, this uh, ignores animate. 
the fact that it costs zero makes this extremely worth it yeah. for everything you need to do. Yeah, definitely. Uh, next, one of our locations is the Shardwork Factory. It is a one-drop location. This card gains the following abilities based on the number of Shardwork units you control. One or more Shardwork units get plus 500. Two or more Shardwork units gain animate for one less. Yeah. Three or more of the Shardwork units you control with highest cost cannot be targeted by your spells, your opponent's spells or abilities. So these do stack. Yep. So if you have one dude or three dudes or two dudes, whatever, if however many you have, they get all of those abilities. So your animates cost less and they all get plus 500. So yeah. it's a really good location for what it does with it. And the fact that you can go search with it for that the dude will make this probably bearable in the late game for yeah. sure. And of course, we're playing uh, black, so we have to have delayed poison. One draw argument, equip to target unit. At the start of your next turn, destroy the equipped unit. So with this, of course, uh, we have to explain it every time, just make sure, but with augment, you attach to the creature. It is now their augment. So at the beginning of their turn, you kill the creature off and done. So basically they don't have anything, they can't really do much with it. Yeah. Also, we have the Temple of the Forgotten, which is a two drop location and triggered abilities of units with cost equal to the number of counters on this card do not trigger. Uh, you can exhaust, choose one, put a counter on this card, or remove a counter from this card. So, this is essentially is going to sit there as like a bomb to just be like, hey, that trigger doesn't happen. Yeah. You tap, put a counter on it, your two drop trigger doesn't happen, or whatever. But you can also tap, remove one, so that way your trigger does happen. It's pretty so, nice. It does trigger both sides, so... So be careful with that. Yeah, for sure. And of course, we have Omega Magic Yami. It's a two-drop insta-cast. Choose one, or if you have two or less towers, you may choose both. Your target unit gets minus 1,000 this turn, or return target unit costs three or less from your discard zone to the field. Pretty powerful stuff. Pretty awesome. Yeah, Omega Magic Yami is awesome. Yes. All right, and of course, for uh, shards, we have the Spirit Ruby. That's a legendary shard. That one, you can exhaust, flip your spirit face down, destroy target unit which is amazing. Now we have the Wyvern Crystal because we do have the one robot dragon mm -hmm. and it has quickness. So for a late game to bring it back from the dead, come swing, win the game. And your normal Archon Shards as well. Simple as that. Now, of course, we have uh, honorable mentions uh, just to throw it out there. Uh, we have the Hoken Archaeologist. It's a two drop, 1000. Augments you control cannot be targeted by spells or abilities, so they can't get rid of your heart, which is nice. Arrive. You may search your deck for a non-location augment and add it to your hand. If you do, put a card from the hand on top of your deck. Simple as that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Next up is the Argent Watcher. He has a 3 drop 1500. Arrive. Target unit loses all abilities. Just simple as that. Hey, your guardian is in my way? No. I'm done with it. Yeah. So that, that's it. That's pretty good for that. Uh, with that, the deck list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoy your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.